My chili doesn't rot so quick anymore. Only at the slow pace of lentil, not the same day despoilage of flesh left out. Two bourbons sit beside the bowl. One mine, the other, hers. Haven't tasted bourbon in fifteen years, but it seems right for this. Kitchen witch instincts working double. I'm about to be bad to my liver for a while. Outside the window above the railing, two palm leaves dangle down. I offhand decide their texture matches that of corn husks. Sit. And so begins the journey. Out the window I take wing to an Iowa of my imaginized memory, of a long ago overnight roadside stay. I disremember the gentle rollingness of the hallucinatory hills, their game of peekaboo with the horizon. I disremember the infinity of the corn. I recline on corn stalks, one bourbon in hand, piglet wriggling happy tucked close in my free arm. Not big enough yet to be hard to hold, but eager, squirmy enough that the ice cubes swirl inside the glass. Forward-facing spinning hooves try the air. Back kick clips two buttons off my shirt. Pig hooves sharper in my ribs than my ribs expected. On my belt one knife, sheathed, your work to remain so. Now up high, a Canadian and an eastern front collide. The corn tips sway all together, all across the rolling hills as far as sight. One broad breeze wall stirs the corn entire. Demeter's breath blows sweet across the fields. She bends the corn as one. She whistles between the stops, as between the two cups of my ears. She coos the piglet in my arms' embrace. She chills our bourbon beyond the ice. Lady, I propose a mystery. Sit. Piglet limp, be calmed. Friend, another moon I'd have loved you roasted. Ready to run? Piglet goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, this belted knife, my witness, I release you from the burden of my appetites and let go. You hit ground hooves spinning and gone. A heartbeat, then the corn tips jump in a beeline, out and gone. The receding snapping of the stalks, out and silence, you will find the water. Grow fat on the fat parts of the corn and so grow old. Curl two great and terrifying tusks and run forever. This mystery doesn't need your dying. Again, the whole field stirs. Broad waves impress into the corn. The whole field so softly lashed by wave after hieroglyphic wave bestroke the corn. She bothers up waves across the waters. She buffets the airborne flocks. She blasts the tips of the corn. She before whom all sit one table. Demeter whispers first the horizontal power. If this form then let this form grow strong. Let this body take up the upright posture of the stalks that weather all but the locust, the machete, and the torch. Let us see what strong decades might yet be wrung from this body only just turned over right, then only afterward commit to the daughter beneath the grass. Sit. If this tongue, then let this tongue be delighted. Savor the white sauce bubbled out from cracks in the croquette's round crust. Stir fry the sprouts in olive till crisp, singed at the outermost leaves. 
shell the walnuts, bowl the walnuts, blend in one ginger slice with the kale and the avocado, discern the cumin from the curry, learn new ways to butter and to cheese, when one pinch of marjoram and when two, which days to chop slow cook and which to dine raw on one whole watermelon and a pack of almonds and befriend the creatures of this cosmos. Here, then, to higher pleasures. Sit. Now the bottom of the bourbon I commit to the soil of the corn, to the mother here, to the daughter below, and there two buttons, cleaned by the bourbon splash of the soil of the corn. I bend and scoop them up to carry off this coin. Return. Two palm leaves sway green outside my window above a red steel railing. Here, it shudders of an unseen power. 